In this tutorial we're going to show you how to configure the advanced settings in MailPoet. The first block of settings we have here are in regards to roles and permissions and it's basically just who can create newsletters and who can manage subscribers and by default it's administrators only. If you have a site that is predominantly run by an editor for instance you may wish to enable editors to actually manage your newsletters and your sus subscribers. Next, you can also choose to define the reply to your name and email, and these will be other than the defaults that are otherwise detected by the plugin. So you might wish to choose a contact email address, for instance. Next, you can choose to which address should all of the bounced emails go. You might want to use an inbox that's not monitored, such as no reply at your site.com, or you can use something completely different as well. The next setting is where we allow subscribers to edit their profile and that's a really important feature because it's important to give people the power to do what they want with their profile. So by default this is already included in your emails that go out. The link will be edit your subscription and there we can just see which list they can change their profile for. Next you can choose to allow HTML edits so when you're editing text blocks in the visual editor you might want to edit the HTML so you can turn that on if you know uh, what you're getting up to otherwise you might want to leave it off if you're not too familiar with HTML. The next setting is that you can share anonymous data such that the plugin developers will get some information on how you're using the plugin and that will enable them to be able to make a better plugin per update that comes out. Finally we have the ability to become a beta tester it's up to you if you want to do that. But we also have a few more serious options in here. So you've got a shortcode to display the total number of subscribers. So where you have a widget, for instance, you could put that shortcode in below it and it would say, this is how many subscribers I have. The next is you can change the char set to something other than UTF-8 if you want. If this is something you need to change, then you will know that you need to change that. So otherwise don't change it. The next setting allows you to enable the plugins cron, which is what will handle sending the emails. Here you can see it says uh, no thanks by default so anytime that visitors come to your website they'll actually be triggering crons to run so you can leave that in most cases. Then you just have the ability to turn the plugin debug mode on or off here with some extra information below there if you choose to go further than just SQL queries and if in the case that you've really changed some settings and you can't get them back you can choose to reinstall now. So now we can just save settings and we're done. So that brings us to the end of how to set up the advanced configuration options in MailPoet. If you have any questions about this, please ask in the comments below.